the React world is split on React server components. You have some saying they're not gonna use React anymore because of this new idea. You have others defending it. Dan Abramov, as is often the case, has spoken in a way that really helps clarify it, but he's used Astro to do that. And I wanna go over that now. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Okay, I'm not gonna to try to be sensational here. I'm just gonna walk through his post, interact with a few of his ideas, and then say maybe a couple of other things about Astro. He starts with just describing the mental model of Astro where you can have Astro components and then you can have client hydrated, so client side JavaScript components using Vue or Svelte or React or Astro components with just normal script tags if you want. So the way that looks is right here, you've got this uh, astro.astro file here where you're doing some server side or build side code. And then down here, you have the output at HTML. Now you'll notice here, we're actually importing a React component in this case, and we're using a special directive called client load. This will load the actual JavaScript needed to run that component as the page loads. Now there's a couple of different directives here. There's also a client visible, which is my favorite because it doesn't load that React until it's visible on the viewport. But Astro will actually render the HTML, essentially server side, and then the hydration will happen next. So that's kind of the mental model. And that's essentially what happens with RSC as well. In fact, here you can see that by default, you're going to be using server render code. This is now just using next, I'm assuming at this point, since that's really the only thing that supports uh, RSC. And then you can use client code right here. And you can see they're importing this, but it just looks like a normal component. However, this use client directive is that signal that this is now being run on the client. Now that's the same mental model essentially. And he's gonna interact with this in a couple of different ways. Number one, he says that these Astro components, uh, unlike Astro components, that is React server components are regular JavaScript functions. Instead of passing in the astro.props, you're just gonna use normal props that you would use with any kind of um, any kind of component in React. Astro has this real clear separation, whereas you use, use client in RSC, with Astro, you have a .astro file and a client island with that client directive. Now that makes it very, very clear, this client load directive, when you've left Astro and when you've moved into the client component. Now that's the transition that's been difficult for a lot of React devs. Now he mentions that this is both a blessing and a curse. It's a curse because it makes learning uh, to wield RSC rather unintuitive. In other words, you have to constantly be thinking about where am I using this? What world am I in? So you can use server features like database and files that need them and use client features like state and files that need them. It relies on kind of where you end up using that. Now, it is a curse, but it's also a blessing. He mentions here that by embracing a React on both sides, the RSC model solves uh, some Astro limitations. So here are the limitations he's going to call out. So he mentions here that with Astro components, you can often be writing an Astro component thinking that you're going to be using this primarily just server side. It just is going to produce static HTML and that's all you need. And then later you realize you need it to be interactive. Well, you can't really have it both ways. A dot Astro component has to be essentially either server side or client side. In other words, with like, like a client side script or you're embedding some kind of React component. Now in React, you don't have to make that decision up front. In fact, you can use it in either one. Now he mentions a few more benefits here as well. Essentially, RSC gives you a lot more flexibility. He talks about nesting Astro components inside of client islands. I'm not totally sure I follow him here because you cannot actually render Astro components like inside of a React component. You can pass a rendered Astro component to React as a prop, but I'm not sure that's what he's saying here. But in React, you've got a lot more flexibility. Under the hood in both client side and server side components, it's all just React. And so you've got some more flexibility there. Astro com uh, components themselves, they ultimately produce just HTML. With um, this virtual DOM diffing with React, obviously you've got a little bit more flexibility there as well, which means for instance, you can actually reload just portions of the page where you don't have to do full page reloads because it's an, uh, a single page app, all right? Even if it's an MPA model with the kind of the new React server components, it feels like an SPA and he brings that out. Now Astro, again, it's fundamentally putting out HTML. I do wanna talk a little bit more about one of the things he mentions here, which is that you can have this kind of suspense declaration and the client will know to wait for the async data from the server, but you can have this kind of like temporary state showing. Now there's something similar in Astro where you can actually have a like server island as well. He didn't go over this, but um, he does talk about view transitions that kind of mimic this behavior. But there's actually another option as well. I wanted to show you that briefly here. I've got TL draw pulled up, but essentially you can have a component. This would be an Astro component in this case that I'm pulling in, and it might render some like uh, HTML 
So for instance, maybe you're loading a bunch of videos or something. Now, depending on how you have your site set up, if it's statically generated or server-side rendered, this could be done, this would likely be done at build time or when somebody hits the page. But that also means you, if it's when somebody hits the page, you have to wait for this before you actually load the page. So there's a new directive here. In fact, I'm just gonna copy this down. It's called server defer like this. And what this will do is it will allow you to load in data live after the page loads, which means your page time loads are faster, but you can still pull in dynamic data. Now it's not quite the same as the concept of suspense, but you can have like a fallback, for instance, that shows like a loading state or something like that. And actually, let me show you where I've done this. So if I go to coding in public.dev, um, once this page loads, if I scroll down here, you'll notice I've got these three that then pull in. Now this is actually the server islands. So I've got these placeholders for the recent videos, but it will actually fetch those live, but it doesn't make the entire page wait for that. The page itself is rendered statically and just these individual little items are pulled using these server islands. I'll link a video that I've done on that in case you wanna check that out. He does mention that if you haven't given Astro try, you definitely should. It might be an easier on road. Uh, on ramp to RSC, but I'd be interested in what you think about this. Have you done much with React Server components? How do you think that mental model maps on Astro? I'm sure there are more things I left out of here or things that I misunderstood, but hopefully this was a helpful walkthrough. And as always, Dan's a great read. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.